Hi, this is uh, Jennifer, Shrinking Jen, um, here for my four-week post-op video. Today is February 20th, 2013. Actually, it's uh, the 21st now because it's after midnight. I can't ever get myself together to do these videos at any kind of decent time. I'm doing this one on my phone because it's so bright in here and when I was trying to use my laptop it was just so bright so hopefully this works um, I'll go ahead and get right to the numbers um, my highest weight before surgery was 274 and uh, after my pre-op liquid diet I was 264 last week I was 247 and this week I'm 244 so that's a three pound loss since last week and a 30 pound loss altogether so I'm very happy and pleased with that um, I did my measurements and um, I have lost altogether um, 20 inches altogether everywhere since the first time I did my measurements before surgery. Um, I've lost three-fourths of an inch on my neck and on my chest I've lost three inches. My um, arm, I only measure one arm because the program I use just asks for one. Uh, I've lost two on my arm right here. I need to lose like 50 million more. Um, my waist I've lost four inches. Uh, from my hips, I've lost three and one fourth inch. From now, this is crazy here. From my thigh, I have lost five and a half inches. This is crazy to me. And from my calf, I have lost an inch and a half. I, when I think about my thigh being that big, I mean it's still big, but I can't imagine that I lost five and a half inches from my thigh. Okay. Um. I am still able to only eat one ounce at a time and some days I can't even do that um, the other day I couldn't drink or eat very well um, I felt I just felt full all the time but most days are okay and I could have I can have about an ounce um, before I start feeling full um, today since I'm four weeks post-op I was released to eat real food just whatever I want but just I'm taking it slow I'm really basically eating the same things I was eating before it's just I'm not pureeing and everything I'm still chewing chew 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 <laughs> so um, today I had a, a one egg omelet with cheese and real bacon bite pieces in it and it was the best tasting food I have had since before surgery. <laughs> I've had scrambled eggs, but this was different. I mean, it just tastes really good. Um, it was really small, and I only ate like four or five bites. And my son had the rest of it. Everybody around here, they're like, I'll eat it when you're done, Mom, because they know I'm not going to finish anything. So um, it was really good, and I wanted to eat it all, but I couldn't. Um, I'm still trying to get all my water and protein in. It's getting easier, but it's still challenging. Um, my uh, surgeon said at least 60 to 80 grams a day of protein, and sometimes I get the 60. I rarely get more than that. I'm thankful if I can get 40. <laughs> um, it's just really hard because the protein drinks fill me up really fast. So, um, I ordered some um, chicken broth uh, protein from Unjury. Haven't got it yet, so I'm hoping that that will help because it's got a lot of protein in it and it's hot. Well, you can heat it up and I think hopefully I can drink it. I hope it doesn't taste weird because that's a problem I'm having. I'm trying to drink Isopure and it makes me have weird... I don't know, just like a weird thing in my mouth. It's like slimy or something. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know what that is, but it's strange. Um, <laughs> let's see. Tonight, 
I exercise for the first time. I have been going walking most days when it's pretty outside with my husband and my two little boys. Um, but tonight I actually did one of my aerobic workout videos. It was low impact. It was uh, Leslie Sansone uh, Walk Away the Pounds. It's just a one mile walk. But it's not just walking. <laughs> got the leg lifts and the kicks and all those arm movements and stuff so it was very low impact and I did sweat a little bit but I didn't overdo it and try to start slow and just uh, work my way up to something a little bit harder um, let's see I can fit into my clothes a lot better um, I have a lot of clothes um, size 24 pants and 3x shirts it's what I was wearing before surgery, and they were really tight. Everything was tight. I could barely wear it. Um, all of that's getting a lot better now. Um, the pants I have on actually are 22. They're a little tight, but I could fit them on my body, so I'm wearing them. <laughs> um, and this cami that I have here is a size 2X. And it's um, more form-fitting than the... 3X's. I'm still wearing my 3X's too, but and this shirt here is just um, cold, so <laughs> it's still one of my 3X's. Um, and it, everything is just getting so much better. I can move better. I can bend forward to like in the car. My husband is so used to me not being able to reach anything. Like you know, if I'm in a passenger seat, I can't turn the radio up. I can't plug in his iPhone. I can't do anything because I can't reach it because I can't bend forward because of my stomach. Well, I can now and it's really cool. I actually can reach in the floor and pick up something. Um, so, that's great. I'm so happy about that. Um, I can um, easily put my socks and shoes on without being out of breath and in pain. So, this is cool. I like it. Um, I uh, last time I was talking about wanting to show my scars, but I didn't, and the reason was I was only dressed from the waist up, and I had my pajamas on, and I didn't want to stand up looking like that. It's kind of crazy. But today, tonight, I'm actually dressed, so I'm going to show my scars. And you know, the other day, this lady asked me if she could see my scars, and so I started showing them to her, and she acted like she was so sick. It's like, oh, like it was gross or something. And I thought they looked pretty good. So I want to show them to you. And if you don't want to see them, don't look. <laughs> um, okay. I have a lot of stretch marks. But um, this is where the drain was. And this one here was the biggest one where they took out my stomach. And this one uh, was well, a little smaller. And then there's that one. And then there's, I don't want to show anybody anything. Right there is another one. I don't know why they put it there, but it's kind of an awkward place. I had my gallbladder removed a few years ago, and I have three scars here. Um, one, two, and three. And uh, so they used the middle one for the drain. So it's the same place, same scar. I guess they didn't use my belly button because I had already had um, my gallbladder was removed from there and I had had a tubal ligation right there too. Um, another cool thing that I want to do, and I had seen other people do this, is um, I want to um, show you how what the difference is and how big I used to be and how big I am now because I still look really big but when I look at the measurements it's amazing to me <laughs> so if I can with my phone here I'm gonna take my shirt off here I can do a body shot the last time I did one I think I'm smaller than I was then my arms are still really big. Everything's still really big. But anyway, um, if I can do this, let me get my old measurements from before I lost anything. Okay, I'm only going to do some of them. Okay, my chest was this big. 
You see that? That much difference in my chest. <laughs> and my waist was here. So I've lost, you know, that much in my waist. And my hips, this is crazy. My hips, I couldn't even touch this together around my hips before. This is 60 inches, and I couldn't even touch it together. And now, look at the space in there. So that's really cool. I uh, wish I could show the thigh because that is the most amazing. Um, I don't even know if you can see it because it was that big. I don't know if you can see it. But to me, that is amazing. I just can't believe how much I've lost. I mean, I know that I was big before, and I'm still big, but it's just amazing to me to see, to look at it, how big I was, and that I'm smaller than that now. I can't wait to lose more. And um, I want to thank all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I think it's awesome that people are subscribing to me to hear about my weight loss journey. So, and talk to you later. Bye.